Hi Leo, welcome to your estranged reading uh, for May 20th through June 19th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. There are two recommend a reader shout outs. Um, Intuitive Tarot by Scully Sati and Intuitive Tarot for Unique Souls. Much love and support to them both. And hopefully you get a chance to check them out and show them some love and support. Um, also, this reading, I, I titled it Estranged, but it's kind of like two spreads in one. It takes a look at how they feel and will they reach out and are they open to um, reaching out to you or vice versa, or are they open to you reaching out to them, that sort of thing. It's just kind of checking in on somebody you're estranged from. But uh, Tyler's Tarot does a how do they feel as well as will they reach out. I think Secret Tarot does how do they feel also. So um, hopefully you... Uh, know about them. If you don't, there you go. Um, but I just wanted to make mention. I'm not, this is, I made up my own spread, so I'm not just kind of bogarting anything. And I know other readers do it. I just, those are the two I'm aware of. So, all right. All right, Leo. Estranged. Let's see. Estranged for Leo. Estranged for Leo. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Okay, so we've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Wands here. So this is this could be Taurus. This could be Aries. This is Taurus. Whoops. And then we've got the Four of Wands and the Three of Swords. So this could be cheating. Um, on a marriage that led to a broken heart. This could be things were kind of stagnant in the marriage, like two opposing energies. Um, we've got a very steady, sta stable, solid, secure. Like if you're thinking of, you know, a homebody versus somebody wants to get out there and take on the day at six in the morning, wants to go exercise and then go to the farmer's market and go do this and go there, that sort of thing. So this could be two people with very different dispositions and energies that are married and it's just not working and you feel that disconnect. And there's just a sadness and heartbreak because there's like, how do we get back to thriving? How do we get back to being that couple that is connected, whether it's cheating or we're just too different? How do we, how do we get back to creating and being um, emotionally intimate with each other and connecting and all of that? Hello. <laughs> all right, Knight of Wands. I'm gonna put this guy right here because that was gonna go there. Okay, so this could have been, it could be because of the cheating. We've got two knights though. That is um, intimacy. Yeah, and that seems to be that there, there's been a disconnect or a cutting off of that. So we've got devil, we've got empress. Woo, temperance, okay, majors, all right. Three of cups, hermit, king of wands, my bad. King of Wands, Fool, Hanged Man, yay, Ace of Cups, yay, yay. All right, Leo. Hmm. Yes, they want to reach out. What's this devil about? What's this devil about? Mm. What's this devil about? They're not going anywhere. What's this devil about? Mm. <laughs> they're not able to get over you. They can't, they're having a hard time with the ending, a very hard time with the ending. And they don't blame you. They're not angry with you. They're, in fact, they're very open to uh, discussing things with you. In fact, I think they're they're wanting to reach out. They just don't know if they should or how they if if they should. If you'd be receptive, um, I think they think that you're, if I may say so, a saint. <laughs> that you're a very uh, good, solid, grounded person. Um, I think they see you as taking this time to think about things and just remove yourself from the situation. And 
I, I hate to be advocating for their position, but they whatever happened, which is probably cheating, they think you're handling it very well. Um, they have a lot of respect for the way you're handling this. And they felt like there's nothing that they could do, but they really do want to get back to thriving with you being um, connected to you. They, they pretty much thought that you were the ideal relationship. There could be, of course they did, right? Because you took care of everything. There could be that component to it. Um, and they are still very much in love with you. They, they feel like you're just kind of taking this time right now to be around family, friends, and loved ones who care and support you. Um, if there was cheating and you did it, they see you as kind of partying and indulging right now. And they still aren't able to get over you or they feel like there's just nothing you can they can do about the situation. But... Hmm... They feel like there's nothing you, they can do to derail this course of action for you. But, so one or two, what's this three of cups about? Because it could be that you're kind of indulging and, and you kind of let something get out of control. And they they are looking at you thinking, you know, you need to get a handle on this situation before it kind of affects you really negatively. I'm, I'm standing by here letting you sort this out or hoping you can work it out of your system and hope that we find our way back to each other. But I'm really hoping that you get, because we got three of cups here and the devil here. That could be... That could be somebody kind of getting out of control with the indulging. What's this Three of Cups about? But they, regardless, they, oh, okay. On, on a very superficial level, this could be them standing back and watching you trying to recapture your youth. <laughs> a younger time, trying to party like it's 1999, that sort of thing. I just dated myself. But, um... You know what I mean? Like you're, you're literally trying to go back in the past and be, you know, kind of celebrate your younger days or a younger time. Taking advantage of this time apart so that you can go in and party and kind of tear a hole through the city. But it also could be that, you know, for some of you, random, kind of just moving. But there's a return to family and friends to kind of help get you through this situation. Um, maybe you don't need any help getting through this situation though. Maybe you're doing just darn fine. Maybe this is you reconnecting um, with somebody from the past, some sort of reunion, some sort of event where you run into somebody from the past while after you two have, um, or is it after? Oh, maybe. They're, you know, I gotta say, they're handling this very well. I don't know who cheated because we have the Three of Cups here with the Six of Cups. But then we've got the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords here. So I don't know who cheated. I don't know if it's you or them. But they seem to be handling it very well. They want a second chance. They want you to invest in, in them emotionally again. They want that reconnection. They're wondering if they should reach out, but they want to. They're still very much in love. Um, but we've got, the, we've got Temperance and we've got um, the Hermit here. So either you've pulled back and you're giving them, you've just completely shut down and you're just like, whatever. Or they're, they realize what they did and they realize that, okay, well, this person doesn't want to talk to me, but I'm still very much in love with them. And, and I have to basically accept what they're doing now, which is they're going out and living their best life without me because I did a horrible thing. And they're watching you kind of reconnect and have a very good time while you're estranged from the situation and they're left to think about things and reflect on their actions, which could be that they were the ones that cheated. It could be that you met up with somebody from your past and cheated, and they're sitting here waiting for you to get that out of your system and come back to them. They're still very much in love. And they they recognize, I mean, we got the, the hangman and temperance here. And Hermit, They're, this is them recognizing that there's not a whole heck of a lot I can do about this situation. And the only thing I can do is wait and bide my time and think about things. And perhaps you're thinking about their offer for reconnection. Perhaps they did reach out already and you've got this on the brain. You know, you're thinking about a stable new beginning with this person or with this person. Looks like you've got a choice to make. Whether you want to walk away or whether you want to start again with this person. Either you're walking away with someone, if you're the one that 
that this is, or you're walking away from the situation altogether and just going to go it alone. But it, the choice will be yours. Whatever you want to do, the choice will be yours because this person is in it. We got the Ace of Cups here, someone not being able to get over the ending, wanting that new beginning with you, wanting to get back to where you two were thriving and connected. They really saw you as the ideal um, partner. However, with the caveat then, sometimes this means that basically you were the ideal parent, partner, <laughs> part, hello, partner, because there was a bit of a, you know, this could have been um, somebody that you basically took care of. Like that you were a really awesome partner because you kind of did everything. You, you took care of them quite literally, like maternal, paternal, that sort of thing. And they were very taken care of and they, they want to go back to that. Well, who wouldn't? So just, you know, and everybody's situation is different, right? It's your own situation. But it just seems like for them to kind of put you on this pedestal and idolize you, it, it might very well be because they've never had it so good, which is because you handled everything. Leos make, uh, typically make excellent partners. Because they love love, they love to be in it, and they're very generous and kind and loyal. So they also tend to be taken advantage of <laughs> any sign, really. I mean, but it just, Leo's in particular. I have seen that in my dealings lately. Is it your, your generosity and loyalty um, and big heartedness sometimes gets. Um, well, it's a magnet for narcissists, isn't it? Because they, they don't want slouches. They want people who are going to produce and perform. I mean, who's going to take care of them otherwise, right? All right. What else for Leo? Snapshot, please, for Leo. Snapshot. Oh, okay. This is a situation that ended. Um, could have been a lot of arguments. Um, fighting, but this is a, a cut-off situation, a situation that has ended, breakup, bad date, cutting off, just whoosh, because of um, the uncertainty, because someone, with, this could have been a very, uh, I say unstable, a relationship that never hit its stride with security. So, Again, we've got somebody that's very stable, secure, solid, even keel. And then we've got someone that's very dynamic, that's very um, wanting to be out and about and just go-getter energy and wanting to be social and go here and do this and go here and see that and just out, out, out. And then we've got someone that's much more um, passive. You know, this could be a basic introvert, extrovert type of thing. And whereas an introvert needs time alone to recharge their batteries, an extrovert needs to recharge their batteries by being out and about. I don't want to say feeding off of others, but just being in the mix that just kind of is very calming and settling to them. They like, they thrive on meeting people and going to new situations and things like that. So again, with the disparate energies, and if you were that very grounding, nurturing, calm that they got to return home to, of course they'd want that back. I don't know. I I don't mean to talk bad about your person. I just feel like there might be more in it for them than you. And and you might, there's a very, there's something very innocent about this. There's something very innocent about this. And so if you're, if this is you going, oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun now that I don't have this, I hate to say it, but baggage because I've been kind of set free because this person did what they did. But now as an unexpected blessing or whatnot, I'm able to go out and reconnect with my friends and just have a really good time. And they're sitting here having to watch and wait and hopefully that you'll come back around because they never, like I said, they never had it so good. Meanwhile, you're over here like having the time of your life. This could be a return to a time of innocence and really enjoying the reconnections and reunions with people from your past. Hmm. Or it could be that you were the one that reconnected with somebody from your past while you were um, married to this person and they're they they're not handling the breakup well they really do want to reach out and have that new beginning they're hoping that you're open to it but they feel like they can't do anything about it and they're hoping this will run its course while they wait for you to return to them because they still love you all right can you see this if i put that there yes you can okay good all right 
think that's done. Okay, did I get, I haven't got a confirmation card yet. All right. What does Leo need to know? Okay, we got marriage twice. We got a, a transition from that sort of, uh, well, working together, connected, unified love to actually becoming a solid, grounded couple here that, that does things together first and meets everybody else as a couple now instead of you two kind of still coming together as a couple. This is, I'm not saying that that's you, but that this card is more about that communal marital energy rather than... Um, still kind of dating, but having separate residence or that sort of thing. So we got marriage. We got marriage here. We got marriage here. I don't know. This is, this is, this is your discretion at your discretion here because you're thinking about it. You're thinking about what to do. You're thinking about stability first and foremost and security and longevity is on your mind. But there's something about this right here that it's like, you know what? This might be where you need to be right now. Because of the, we got the side and we got the clouds. So this is a breakup with a very uncertain rela or a relationship that broke up because of uncertainty. Because it wasn't stable. Because it wasn't solid. It didn't have this. So I feel like we got the four of wands here. But I feel like... I feel like you need more time. I mean, this is just my two cents, right? But I, of course, this is general. It's at your discretion, free will and all that. But I feel like you need to do, you, this is where you need to be, at least for this summer. Oh God, that's summer loving. No, but the, uh, I feel like you need to be here. I don't feel like you need to return to this situation yet, if at all. I mean, that's your discretion. Again, this is general, but I feel like this, this is where you need to be for the next three to six months. Is just being surrounded by friends and family who love and support you and just kind of being this. Returning to a time of just very, um, just having fun with friends and loved ones and a time of maybe there, maybe these are a lot of reunions and um, marriages and graduations and birthdays and whatever that you're going to be going to. But I, I feel like you need to be free to do this. And maybe that's what they're, this is about too is, is, them waiting for this to run its course maybe but there's something about this that i feel like you need to be here this is where you need to be for now and that's why they're waiting not i don't i don't feel like you're you should god i can't believe i'm saying this return to the marriage yet or that communal energy working things out i don't i don't think it's time for that yet all right your discretion you do what you're going to do but my two cents there it is okay all right i hope this was helpful and I hope it, it works out to your benefit, uh, benefit for all. And I hope to see you in the next reading. Oh, by the way, this is you, Leo. The Knight of Wands is Leo. I don't think I said that. Random. Uh, hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.